So, um, yeah, as I said, I'm working here as a front-end developer. And today I will talk shortly about GDPR, especially how it affects um, modern websites and um, how we use cookies. And then I will do a live programming session and where we create a cookie message warning component. Um, yeah, and also um, we will integrate Google Analytics because otherwise it wouldn't make sense to do such things. Um, okay, so disclaimer, all you hear about GDPR is my personal opinion, so I'm not a lawyer and um, it's just a recommendation how you should do it, uh, so just for reference. And so next page, so oops, so GDPR. Um, I think almost everybody heard about this term because it's in every newspaper and everybody's in heroin and it's like an, it's some like a chaos here in, um, in companies like, okay, oh my God, what do I have to do? And um, do I need something to do? So um, GDPR stands shortly for um, General Data Product, um, Protection Regulation and it starts at, in the end of May. And it generally covers um, all topics, how to handle personal data in companies and how we should um, also secure them. So it's not only for um, developing focused companies, but also for auto repair shop, for I know a hairdresser. Um, so everybody who handles with personal data has to be GDPR, GDPR conform. Uh, so, um, so you might think, okay, yeah, I just have a normal website and I don't really have any um, personal um, data from my users. So why should it bother me? Why should I um, research uh, for it or whatsoever? Um, yeah, or maybe some of you think, okay, I already have one of these um, annoying um, cookie warning messages on my website, so I'm also fine. Um, so get at me GDPR. So my first question is, um, and I hope that you raise your hands um, or not, um, who thinks that, for example, this cookie message warning here is GDPR, GDPR conform? Okay, good. <laughs> what about this one? So in this case, you don't even have a button to click. So it just says, okay, we track your personal data and that's it. So I think um, we all know, okay, this is doing uh, completely wrong. So, um, yeah, so we have to do something um, till the 25th of May. So, um, yeah, the GDPR guideline, it's a huge paper with 50 pages or longer, and um, especially um, regarding cookies, there's only one paragraph um, mentioned. And um, I think the last one here is important, may be used to create proofs to of, na of the nature of persons and identify them. Uh, but yeah, who knows exactly what they're meaning? I think nobody really. So in plain English, this means, okay, implied consent is no long, long enough. It must be easy to withdraw consent as it is to give and soft opt, uh, soft opt in is not is sufficient. So. A cookie warning with just one button where you can click, okay, I, I read the info, um, I can do nothing against it, it's not sufficient enough. So you have to um, also have to provide a button where you can say, okay, no, I don't really want to be tracked and um, all the tracking um, programs like Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics um, will stop. So, okay, we have a problem here. Um, we have to do something uh, against that. And um, now we are coming to the live programming session. So um, now we will create a short, uh, um, a small um, Vue.js project um, with the new Vue CLI uh, version 3 um, interface. We will also uh, use the NPM package Vue Analytics and, uh, yeah, and obviously create one Vue component. So let's do this. <coughs> So I also have a cheat sheet for that because it's my first talk, so I don't want to mess up too many things. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? So um, we create a new 
demo app with the view client. <coughs> so um, we select it manually. We don't need TypeScript or whatsoever, so it's really vanilla. And we want it in a um, package file. And now we might need some elevator music because NPM takes some time. Okay, damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, but in the meantime, oh, okay. Someone disconnect from the VLAN, from the Wi-Fi, so it's faster now. Okay, short question, who is using NPM? And who is using Yarn? Ah, okay, okay, interesting. Okay, I'm still the NPM guy, so, yeah. Okay, just a few hours and then we're finished. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Let's do some magic. So no fake presentation here, all live. Okay, so we are ready to go. So we go to the application. So we have our files here. And now I will open my terminal. And in the, whoops, in the background we will also, so we will see what we are doing really here, what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, so yeah, as you already know, standard default view, whoops, there it is. So um, yeah, we have one hello uh, view, um, hello world component, um, we have the app.view, and um, what we are basically doing now is, um, I call it cookie message, or annoying cookie message component, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now I have to cheat, <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise we are sitting here till 11 p.m. I don't want, I, I want to leave early, so yeah. And yeah, I will go shortly through it. So we have um, our HTML here. Can so, you ah, yeah, sure. Thank you. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. So um, what we're having here is um, we have three diffs. We have um, some CSS classes. Um, we have one condition. Um, if is it, is it open? So um, this is uh, required. So when the user visits the page for the first time, we get the info. If he clicks on the button goes away. Um, we also have um, a slot message and, um, and the button for, uh, to accept um, the cookies and or to accept to be tracked and also to um, deny it. Um, I also defined some props, which is pretty straightforward. Um, so um, for example, um, we also have a proposition for a position. So in the end, I can say, okay, um, I want it to be uh, to be displayed in the top or in the bottom. So this is um, um, computed here with this uh, method. So um, I'm calling this here in this class. And then it sets in uh, cookie minus minus and the position. So cookie minus minus button, for example. And of course I have a CSS for that. Um, um, when the component is created in the life cycle, I check um, if we have a um, um, local storage item, and um, if it's true. Um, so if we accepted it, it gets um, hidden, the component, and we have the, um, the methods here. So the one is um, accept, which sets um, the local storage item GDPR accepted to true, otherwise it's false, and this is here just, just to return it. And I also used some CSS crits, which is the latest yeah, shit, <laughs> as you, <laughs> yeah, everybody's talking a bit. I tried for the first time. Um, I struggled a little bit, but um, yeah, I hope I get better for the next few chess meetup, who knows. And um, so we have our component here. 
what we will need here now is to import it. Cookie message from so and also include it here. Cookie message and also whoop, And if I have done everything right, the moment of truth. Oh, hey, okay, we have our cookie warning message. Wow. <laughs> okay, um, what I mentioned is um, we can use now our props, for example, um, position, so bottom, and if I refresh now, it's on the bottom, and yeah, stuff like that. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, the interesting part is coming, I hope so. So, um, so we can, I will check the local storage here. So it's empty, just from um, Webpack one. And if we click on accept, obviously it gets um, written to the um, to local storage and the notification is hidden and vice versa. So we clear it and it's working. So um, the important thing is here that um, we um, want to say to the user, okay, um, please accept the cookies because we want to track um, how you use our website. So therefore we will use um, Google Analytics. So I will go, oops. Um, ah. Okay, so we are here in our demo app. And um, I will use the NPM package view analytics. It has about 700 stars on GitHub and um, the maintainer is very active and is pushing a lot of um, commits. So um, I can recommend it. It's just a Google Analytics API wrapper. So um, what we will do is NPM install, um, view analytics, bloop. So elevate the music again. <sighs> Hopefully not this long. And in the so okay, edit. We have here our package JSON now with few analytics, and we also whoops, want to import it. So analytics from the <coughs> thank you item. So, um, yeah, no magic here. And normally, um, we would just, so how would I, should I do it? So, don't look at the screen, please. <laughs> so, um, so, so normally we would use few use to in initialize the, um, the plugin. Um, I created a valid um, Google Analytics ID and um, also um, the debug flag that we see, okay, um, it's working. And this here is the important stuff because um, with disabled, we can set, okay, um, please do not write any cookies and we want to really disable Google <coughs> Analytics. And um, this is, uh, you use it with few analytics like this. And if you just copy and paste the uh, um, normal JavaScript um, script file into your um, HTML file, you have a window property you can set to disable it. And yeah, so, um, but we want to have it um, depending on if the user accepted it or denied it. So um, the problem is here, what I figured out yesterday evening. So I'm really happy that it's working. I hope so. Um, that um, you can't set um, this, um, this flag here during the runtime. So you have to do it when you initialize um, the package. So my little trick is that um, I get um, the status, so true or false of the local storage item, and depending on that. So if um, he accepted um, Google Analytics with our um, fancy cookie message component, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we set it up normally and say disable false. 
which can be also, we don't have, really have to, um, to do that because it's automatically set up, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. And if um, he said, okay, I want to deny it, we set it to disabled true. So we save this one and I hope I didn't mess up something. So if we, so in the local storage, it's empty. I will, so we click on accept, we do a reload. Now you see, okay, the Google Analytics plugin is um, loading. We have our debug messages. And if we check our cookies now um, and refresh it, we have um, our cookies automatically set by Google. Okay, works fine, but now we have a user who says, okay, I'm totally paranoid and I don't want to, yeah, to track or to be tracked. So he comes again, says, okay, I want to deny it. We click it again. And now you see um, from Google Analytics that, um, yeah, the user has opted out of our tracking. Um, yeah, the cookie writing has failed. We do not have any cookies here. And hopefully um, we are GDPR compliant and don't, uh, don't get sued. <laughs> Which is about 4% of the yearly um, revenue of a company. So could be a lot. And yeah, that's it so far. So any questions?